Welcome everyone to the Pantheon. I'm your host, Ray. And I'm Evie. And Evie, what are we looking at today? Um, uh, Jessica Jones, um, season two. Correct. It stars uh, Kristen Ritter. Uh, it, I believe it's pronounced uh, Ek Duval. Uh, he plays Malcolm Ducasse. Uh, mm -hmm. Rachel Taylor as um, Trish Walker. Rebecca, mm -hmm. Rebecca De Mornay. And also stars uh, Janet McTeer as the villain in the in this particular series. And the showrunner mm -hmm. is uh, Melissa Rosenberg, who has been the showrunner for the entire mm -hmm. series as well as the season. Evie, give us the rundown of Jessica Jones season two. Okay. Okay, prior to what happened in the first season, mm -hmm. um, Jessica Jones wants to know why she is the way she is, uh, uh, superpower-wise. Sure. So, so I would say that, that the second season, Jessica Jones wanting to figure out who she is as a person. Exactly. Now, that's, that's that's really what it comes down to in a, in a nutshell, yeah. right? It's just pulling back. Because I think really, I mean, once you had Kilgrave, you really couldn't go, what else What else can you do, really? I mean, that's like yeah. a character that really got under her skin, that got into the nerve of the character, like of the hero. When you look at her, mm -hmm. the logo, it's the name Jessica Jones and it's cracked, like cracked mirrors is because she's yeah. cracking, like she's coming undone mm -hmm. from below. So. Yeah, exactly. So we had a villain that caused it. So now we're gonna have to peel back the layers, like um, it, like the trauma that created her, and the trauma that mm. that that's behind the behind it all. And we're learning some truths. And uh, it it starts off right at the bat from the first episode with Trish Walker. Um, mm -hmm. uh, she's doing this uh, child party thing where she's singing and playing the character. Uh, yeah, I like your cray cray to these two adult males, just yeah. to get information on IGH, which leads leads to uh, which was the company that made both Luke Cage and right. made yeah. Jessica Jones. Yeah, and now it's down this rabbit rabbit hole, if you will, of how she came about. Um, this is really cool because this deals with uh, the guilt. This has a bit of guilt too because she is uh, still harboring the guilt of killing Revo, which, which was Luke Cage's uh, wife. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's my, this is my personal opinion, but the murderer or the killer in season two, the reason why she goes with this killer on this road trip willingly mm -hmm. yeah. to try to keep the killer like at bay is right. because yeah. she harbors some psychological um, responsibility to take control and responsibility of this murderer. Uh, I, right. I, the only thing I won't reveal is like who the murderer is. I mean, it's, it's right. kind of yeah, a yeah. thing, but you know right. who I'm referring to, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, so I think that's my theory is that the reason why she is giving up her life and putting her life in jeopardy at a risk or, or living uh, or becoming a fugitive is because at some she feels that she is, I don't know, if worthy or not is, is, the, is the good answer, but like there is a lot of guilt that she's done bad and this is her way to mm -hmm. make good on it, you know? Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, but over, but let's get into some of the characters because this is, I, I think, in terms of the MCU, uh, Netflix MCUs, uh, Daredevil and Jessica Jones is probably the, the top, is like the top two best mm -hmm. shows in terms of story written. I mean, you can argue some things with Luke Cage. I mean, I don't know if you can argue uh, Iron Fist too much, but like with Luke Cage, there is some, there is some good quality writing in that too, and some good mm -hmm. sequences. Yeah, for sure. But in terms of drama, like real good psychological drama and issues mm -hmm. and um, um, uh, not only say public service announcement, but like things of like of notoriety, like that's mm -hmm. like everyday like issues, like um, things of concern or mm -hmm. ongoing conflicts in the world. Uh, they really do target certain um, social functions, a social uh, justice warrior, if you will, on yeah, the yeah. show, you know? Yeah. Um, and I, I also say that Melissa Rosenberg, the, the showrunner, she actually, what she kind of, in terms of female empowerment, all the entire season, it's all written by women. It's directed by women uh, for every episode. Cool. Every episode, every episode has a different writer. Every episode has a different director, and they're all mm -hmm. women. So she's trying to uh, pay it forward, giving opportunities for people who oh. normally who don't have the opportunities to make a splash in the industry. You know? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so let's get into some of the characters. Okay, so see, there's two characters, in, I would say, who has the biggest arc in the series. When I say series, I mean seasons one, two, and three. And that's Trish and that's Malcolm. Because where how they start off in season two and where they end is a great arc. Whereas I think Jessica Jones pretty much stays the same, you know? Mm -hmm. 
besides harboring a deep, dark emotional loss at the end of season two, uh, which causes a rift, I think the characters of Trish and uh, Malcolm has the greatest arc, you know? Oh, for sure. Um, tr- so in season one, Trish, we learned that she was a child actress. Um, mm-hmm. She had a drug addiction. Uh, to hide the drug addiction, her mother adopted um, um, Jessica Jones and trying to get the publicity yeah. off their, their trail, like they're doing a good mm-hmm. deed. And as a result, right. I mean, Trish becomes the adopted sister for, for Jessica Jones. Mm-hmm. And uh, she gets her life in order. You know, um, but we learn yep. also learned that in the start of season one, I mean, uh, Trish has she made her house, her, her apartment or penthouse suite into like a panic room. Mm-hmm. And yeah. she's learned and she uh, she learned Krav Maga in self-defense. Mm-hmm. In uh, So we learned that before the series began, she was I guess she was attacked at some point. Yeah, she must have, because the, to do that, uh, to, to change her room into a room where uh, with Simpson, the cop who went after her couldn't get yeah. in because it yeah, was like sure. it, was, it was already designed as a panic room uh she's a victim you know so you know and then malcolm malcolm started off as a drug addict yeah you know, I and, yeah and we learned that uh he was a re- i think he was a reporter or a uh, um investigator in the beginning and uh in, in the night she met uh kilgrave it was the night that kilgrave met malcolm and turned him into a drug addict and used mm. his skills as yeah. a an investigator to follow uh take pictures of of, of uh, jessica jones in season mm-hmm. one yeah. so when we get to season two uh malcolm is a working associate for jessica jones he's learning under her tutelage to become a private investigator and, and perfect his craft mm-hmm. and then uh we meet a, a rival uh pi service who who hired who ends up hiring yeah. uh malcolm yep. you know uh, and then and before the rival dies from the hands of the murderer, of course. Mm-hmm. So Malcolm uh, and because Malcolm and of course the way Trish is, uh, Trish, uh, Jessica is very crash and coarse. Uh, they go the different ways. They kind of she kind of fires him when he quits because yeah, Tr- Jessica Jones is hard to, to be around, obviously, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, hard drinker. So, but during her time, he's been able. To, Malcolm's been able to clean his act up. And beca- have a, a really good job of being really good at being an investigator. And, of course, taking pictures of Jessica behind her back during the Kilgrave situation. Yeah. Uh, he was already uh, skilled and mm-hmm. he was just honing his craft. So um, it's really interesting how he's progressed. And it mm-hmm. ends off uh, with Jerry Horgarth Hor- 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 hiring him as an investigator for her firm. Yeah. That's how. So, like, he's come a long way. So he ends up being yeah. like a fixer for Jerry Hargarth. Now for mm-hmm. Trish, um, go into that. Can you go into basically how her arc changes in season two? Pardon me? Can you go into the arc of Trish, like where she starts off in season two and then how she ends? Oh, yeah. Um, well, Trish has this thing where she wants to um, explore uh, Jessica Jones's history. Right. You know, why she does that, you know, she just does. Mm-hmm. Uh, but she wants to know, like, uh, uh, what happened um, to her, I guess, stepsister or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. And that's what it's all about. Exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah, and uh, in, and in the process, she becomes she kind of gets back into the drug habit again. In order to yeah, help she her does. Out. Yeah, uh, her, she does. Her ex boyfriend has left an. Is it an inhaler? Was that was it an inhaler? Yeah. Some. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like a super steroid. So she becomes an addict, addiction to that. And that kind of leads her wanting uh, to, re- like when you're an addict, you kind of hit rock bottom once you try to recover from that. Oh, sure. Um, yeah. And your inhibitions, in her case, when her she's she's on her medication, her inhibitions leave her. She's more reckless. Mm-hmm. And I guess she yeah, speaks yeah, yeah. her mind more. Um, yeah, she does. Uh, she she always has, like, she has always looked up to, to uh, Jessica Jones and uh, wants yeah. to be like a hero. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, that's what it's all about, I guess, finding who she is. Yeah, and she does some really reckless stuff in the in 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 her pursuit for doing what she thinks is right. You know. Yeah. So. And so so like that's how the ending is sort of like uh, the ending has a double edged sword for her. Um, yeah. Her action leads leads to something that's really dire, and mm-hmm. her actions, her selfishness, actions uh, sets up the stage for who she becomes in season three. Right. Yeah. Which is like. Uh, trying to being a trying being a hero herself. Right. Yeah. Uh, besides this, um, like in terms of like uh, 
what the themes of the show are. I think uh, the, the show really, t- as I mentioned at the top, is that the show tackles uh, a lot of a lot of issues. You know, yeah. uh, you have uh, like you have a you have an LGBTQ QT. Is it is that the yeah. word, right? That's that's with the character with Jerry Hargarth. She's a woman of power. She's like the, the in terms of a chess game, she would be yeah. the queen because she is the higher echelon of like people of influence. Exactly. Uh, you have uh, people of minority. You have Malcolm. You have Luke Cage. You have yeah. um, who was a, who was a love interest, and then you have the new love interest, who is Oscar Orcho and his son Vito, who are right. uh, people in Jessica's lives. So you have interracial, um, yeah, introductions. Uh, you have Trish, who present represents empowerment. Uh, people who, who uh, she represents uh, women who have been abused. You know, uh, women. Um, uh, you know, women's rights, you know, women against women's against violence. So like you have all these social issues being addressed, whether it's uh, uh, people of color, people of people's sexuality, women's issues. So uh, they were really cool in terms of how they woven in these little sh- stories, these characters into the fabric of, of, of being an action movie. Mm-hmm. Um, so overall, what are your thoughts in, in terms of like just the overall experience? coming out of the season two what were your overall thoughts like coming out of it did you like it more than season one did yeah you, i liked how, it definitely more than season one for sure and then where do you how do you see this in terms of the overall like netflix mcu uh, shows um it's all about family mm-hmm. definitely about family and what and how how important it is and i don't want to give away anymore okay. because yeah yeah right. it's really good all right. Well, that sounds good. Um, uh, well, okay. In that case, where, where, they, where can they reach us? We can re- um, email mm-hmm. at our website, on Twitter, right. right, and on our website. Yes, website twice. That's right. Yes, exactly. And we'll, I'll put it no. at the bottom of the screen so you can see where we are. Yeah. And, exactly. um, yeah. Okay, so with that, I am Ray. And I'm Evie. We'll talk to you later. Take care. Thank you.